Welcome to Learn with Priyanka. Question 73. You have a fabric workspace named Workspace 1 that contains a lake house named Lake House 1. In Workspace 1, you create a data pipeline named Pipeline 1. You have CSV files stored in an Azure storage account. You need to add an activity to Pipeline 1 that will copy data from the CSV files to Lake House 1. The activity must support Power Query M formula language expressions. Which type of activity should you add? A. Data flow. B. Notebook. C. Script D. Copy data. Pause the video and give it a think and check the answer. The correct answer is A. Data flow. Here's why. Data flow activities in Fabric support the use of Power Query M formula language, which allows for advanced data transformation capabilities during the data ingestion process. By using data flows, you can efficiently transform data from CSV files and load it into Lakehouse 1 with transformations defined in Power Query M. Other options are less appropriate because B. Notebook typically involves using Python, Scala or SQL for data processing tasks within Spark environments and does not natively support Power Query M formula language. C. Script can involve various scripting activities but does not specify the direct use of Power Query M formula language as part of its processing. D. Copy data activity is mainly used for copying data without advanced transformations that Power Query M provides. While it can move data from CSV files to Lakehouse 1, it lacks the transformation capability provided by Power Query M. Thus, to utilize Power Query M for transformations as part of the data ingestion process, into Lakehouse 1, using a data flow is the most suitable and direct approach. See you with another question. Make sure to like, share and subscribe for more videos.